Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can emit particles or create a particle emitter in its most basic form. So to do that we're first going to add a part by going to here block and insert and then we're going to move it to a position here where we're going to add the same particle emitter. So we're going to select this part and go for add and search for particle. And once we find it, we have it here, particle emitter. Now with the particle emitter selected, you can of course rename it. We'll able to go for its details or more precisely properties here. And here we have loads of options that will be open to our editing. First of all, I'm going to change the texture and place my kind of texture that I want to use for the particle. I already have one loaded. You can add it here by simply choosing it from your local hard drive. I already did that. So I'm going to add a flame particle. And as you can see, the particles are emitting, they're coming out and they're basically the same kind of PNG just replicated again and again and again. So first of all, I can change their size I can make it smaller, so let's make it 1.5. I can then change their transparency and set it to, let's say, at zero, there, there's no transparency. At one, there is full transparency, so they're visible. But if I set it to 1.3, there will be somewhat transparent. We have other options as well. We have the rate of their spawning, which we can increase or decrease their rotation speed we can make them faster we can make them smaller or slower and there are other options that will be easily understandable once you get into the same kind of properties tab where you'll be able to kind of figure them all out it's a lot of it is related to kind of basics of animation how they kind of behave when they fade out basically what's their lifespan and other options but this is kind of the basic element to it of course if you'd like you can also try to find some kind of particle emitter that is already preset or created so we can go back to the part and search for example for fire and we could add it and as you can see there is already a predefined particle emitter for fire there are other options as well you can try go for something like fog we can find it, but missed. Nope. But you can try for other options that have their own particle meters that was already defined. Of course, you can again change the fire properties. As you can see, change its color. You can go for other alternatives again under the properties menu. Or as I showed you initially, you can just take your particle emitter and create your own particles in whatever shape or form you like. So there it is. That's how you create particles or enable particles in your, for, in your Roblox level. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider checking out my other videos, my other Roblox tutorials. They're all really basic stuff. So maybe you'll find it helpful. And of course, please check out my Patreon page. Please check out my channel memberships. Please check out my books on Amazon, including my best-selling book that can help you overcome wasting time. Of course, the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, if you'd like to do that, is just to subscribe and be here for my new clips. Also, if you leave a like, if you have a comment, please leave those as well. I'd be more than grateful and more than happy to try to answer you. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.